Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, Zoom session. My name is Pascal Defoe, and uh, just like uh, every week, uh, I'll be your host. Uh, tonight, I would like to, uh, you know, discuss about the uh, the We Are All Satoshi spreadsheet that was developed to help you see the magnitude of this project. But before I go ahead, I'd like to remind everyone that I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not uh, an investor, investment advisor either. So uh, you do whatever you do here at your own risk. Um, and if you choose to do anything, make sure you only uh, use money you can afford to lose because there is no guarantee in these projects. Um, so it's very important that you remember that. Rule number one, only invest with money you can afford to lose. And rule number two, always collect your seed capital first. Okay, the moment you can withdraw some cash, withdraw some cash as soon as possible until you've recovered your seed capital. What you do after, it's up to you. At least you are at risk zero. So I would like to go over the, um, the spreadsheet that we developed to help people see the magnitude of this project. So without further ado, let me share my screen so we can together look at that screen. Uh, that expression. So I'd like to start this presentation by, um, you know, quickly going over the uh, the rewards. All right, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I would like to remind everyone again that you know, on We Are All Satoshi, the packages go from the Stardust, which is hundred dollars, all the way to Multiverse, which is two hundred and four thousand seven hundred. Now, every single package that you see here is billed in a formation, in a binary formation of Stardust packages. What do I mean by that? At the top, you have one Stardust. At the bottom, you have two Stardust, and they keep growing like that, like a tree, like a Christmas tree, all the way until they reach the value of that package. Now, here you have the cash back, even though it reads check match bonus. That's an internal check match bonus because of the way the structure is built. Then you have the daily staking, the number of WAS token you'll be getting and the potential earning, which is equivalent to 3x, three times the value of your subscription. Now, let's go look at the structure. It's very important to look at the structure here. So basically, um, I started with this structure for people with a budget um, 100 to, I would say, 500. Even though it says 300 to 500, uh, this is ideal, okay? Ideally, you want to start at 300. Uh, but with 100, you can also do it. If you do it with 100, you got to make sure these positions here, left and right, are filled up by somebody that you personally sponsor, meaning that when they join We Are All Satoshi, they use your username. All right. They used your username uh, to join and then they pick one left of your username or the right of your username. But you've got to make sure they did that. Otherwise, you're not going to have the two percent. That's why I'm saying ideally you want to make sure you start with at least three hundred dollars. So how does that work? So basically, it doesn't matter whether your upline asks you to position yourself on the left-hand side or position yourself on the right-hand side for this structure to work. Now, how do you build this structure? All three accounts that you see here ideally should belong to you. So account number one, two, and three should belong to you. All three accounts or have to be created in StableDAO first. And usually when I create my accounts in StableDAO, what I do is I uh, give them names that will give me a good clue when I go in We Are All Satoshi to position them. For example, if I call the first one Pascal, I will then call, um, or no, let's use a different name because Pascal has L at the end. If I call the first one John, right, the primary account John, the account on the left, I'll call it John L for left. And the account on the right, I'll call it John R for right. All right. So all three accounts belong to you. Um, 
all three accounts are created first in StableDAO. One, which is the primary account, can sponsor two and three in StableDAO. Then in WAS, one will also sponsor two and three. Then once you've all created, once you've created your structure in WAS, now you need to fund them. I'm not going to go how over how to fund or how to create your you know your um, wallet for the account uh, wallet address for the account we can cover that at a different time but so you go ahead and fund one two and three with one hundred dollar and then when it's all done and it's all available in the uh, deposit wallet you go ahead and purchase a Stardust subscription. By purchasing the starter subscription on all account, you're basically making your primary account, the number one here, a premium account. That's why you see premium in it. What does that do when it becomes a premium account? Well, every top up you do on that primary account will get a 2% staking rewards. So all you need to do after that is just keep topping up the number one account, primary account. Keep topping it up until you reach the level you want to reach. If at the middle you, you know, you want to get some money out to have fun, you know, for the hard work, feel free to do so. You decide on your strategy. All right. So again, as I said, it doesn't matter whether you are asked to position yourself on the right or you are asked to position yourself on the left. So this is how you build your structure for a small account. If all of your budget is 300, well, you got 100 here, 100 here, and 100 here, it is 300. Once you top up until your rewards, okay, your rewards, which will be um, your staking rewards reach 100, you can go ahead and top up again. Topping up here means buying a certain amount of uh, starters packages, which are divided in a hundred dollars block. So you will then keep, you know, by doing that, you will basically get 2% of that hundred, which is an extra $2. You'll keep getting your staking rewards daily until you reach another hundred or maybe 200. I don't know. Then you take that and you top up again and it will keep growing. And, you know, day by day, it will get bigger. We'll actually get to see the actual spreadsheet where those numbers appear. If your budget was 400, it means when you build the structure with 100 and 100 and 100, spending 300, you're left with 100. You put it on, you top up on the premium right away and you get an extra $2, right? If it is 500, you will be left with 200 and you can put up, you know, top up on the primary account to get uh, an extra $4 dollars daily staking rewards right remember it says daily but it's paid every monday of the week now this is the structure for those who only have between 300 to 500 and as i said this is the ideal case where you have that money and you're capable to owning the structure without hoping that you will bring people in that will activate their account. But if you have no choice and you only have 100 or 200, then you will have to, you know, get people that will position themselves on your left and on your right. And then this way, you will then uh, become premium at the top and you will be able to enjoy the 2%. Now, let's go and check the structure for somebody who has 500 or more dollars right so this here is the structure for somebody who has more than 500 structure for 500 plus budget now this is just me and Matteo brainstorming and coming up with these kind of things feel free to change it feel free to season it the way you want at the end of the day it is your money and you decide how you want to play with it or how you want to invest it. So let's go back to the uh, structure. This here, as you can see, becomes a bit trickier how you position yourself. And in this case now, it is very important to understand 
the position given to you by your upline, all right? So let's look if your upline asks you to position yourself on the right, this is how you want to build it. If your upline asks you to position yourself on the left, this is how you want to build it. On my team, everybody is asked to position themselves on the left. Of course, these are people that I sponsor. If you are on my team and you sponsor somebody, you don't ask them to, you don't use my username to begin with, and you don't ask them to position themselves on my left. So, right? Um, so basically, let's go back here. If your upline position you on the right, build a structure this way. Number one, all five accounts ideally should belong to you. This way, you don't leave your destiny to anybody. This way, you know for sure that all five accounts actually do have an activated subscription, all right? So all five accounts have to be created in StableDAO first. All five accounts are to be created in StableDAO. So number one can sponsor all four of the bottom in StableDAO. No problem with that. Number one can sponsor two, three, four, and five. So that's all fine. Now, in We Are All Satoshi, in We Are All Satoshi, it is important that you respect the following hierarchy. Number one will sponsor two and three. And then two will sponsor four and five. So I repeat, number one will sponsor two and three in We Are Satoshi, and number two will sponsor four and five. Again, what do I mean by sponsor? It means when you go in to log in and you're asked for your sponsor username and position. So, of course, the primary account, which is number one here, will be connected to the upline, and the upline would have told you, given you his or her username, as well as what position, right or left, to position yourself. So if you ask the position on the right, this is the way you're gonna build your structure, all right? So basically in WAS, once you've connected your primary account to your upline, the next thing you wanna do is position or connect your number two and number three account. So one will sponsor two and three in WAS, meaning that when you use your username and password of account number two, username and password from DAO, from stable DAO, it will ask you who's your upline and what position. Your upline in this case for number two is going to be your primary account username and you will position it on the left for number two. Then once you're done with it, you go to do number three, okay? And then sponsor again is your primary account, and you position it on the right. Of course, there are other stuff that you will need to do when you, you've done all that, right? Like creating your transaction password, uh, you know. So then once you have created them, you now use, um, you know, you already have account number four and five because you created them in stable DAO. You use account number four credentials, meaning username and password to log into We Are All Satoshi. Then when you're asked for your sponsor and you know you, you enter number two as sponsor. And then when it asks for the position, you pick left for number four. And then you do the same thing with number five, meaning you go again on the login page of We Are All Satoshi when and then you use number five, username and password. When it asks you for sponsor username, you enter number two, username. And then when it asks for position, you pick right. Now your structure have been positioned in WAS, all right? So now you can go ahead and fund one, two, and three. You need to do them first. One, two, and three, you need to do them first. And once you, spot, you, you, you fund them with 100 USDT, each of them. Once the 100 USDT are there, all you need to do is buy a status package. What are you doing by doing that? You're basically activating all three of them. 
and by making your primary account a premium account. What is a premium account? That is an account that receives 2% staking awards. And that is also eligible to receive 5% when they sponsor somebody as introducer kickback, right? So once one, two, and three have been activated by purchasing a subscription, you can go ahead and fund four and five, then buy a $100 subscription package with them as well. This way now, because you first qualify one, two, and three, they will now be eligible to receive some rewards. Two is now premium, right? And if you have to do any top up, you do it on two. So top up on two to get 2% 2 staking rewards because it's now premium. It's got a position left and right occupied. And then by topping up on two, you actually generating 5% um, booster kickback on their sponsor, which is one, right? And then you're also generating 10% check match bonus. Get all your rewards from one and top up on two. So basically, when you do this, some rewards are gonna be generated by one. And when rewards are generated by one, guess what you do? You put them on two when you're doing your top ups. Why? Simply because if you want to reach those rank of the Ascension Club, like the Shiba, the Dutch, the Cardano, the Ethereum, and so on. Well, you need to grow this number, the volume faster. And actually, when you grow the volume here, right, you're also growing the volume here. And if you're growing the volume here, uh, the two account will benefit from that volume because they'll be able to be positioned on the Ascension rank list. So, and while you keep topping up number two, you wanna make sure you keep an eye on number one. Why? Because if you don't keep topping every now and then number one, what's gonna happen at, is that number one is gonna reach its three X fast. And before you know it, you'll have to go back and buy or you will miss some rewards. So it's very important, keep an eye on number one and top it up as required before it actually run out of room, all right? Now, this was if you are asked to be positioned on the right-hand side. If you are asked to be positioned on the left by your sponsor, if your sponsor asks you to position yourself on the left, how? When you go into login on We Are All Satoshi with your premium primary account, username and password, they ask you then for your sponsor name. You gave it, your, your sponsor would have given you their name and then they ask you for position. If you ask to position on the left, this is how you build. You build on the right. That's why you see this, this other here, this other one here built on the right leg, okay? Because your sponsor is building your, leg, your left leg. So basically everything else is the same, except that when you go to, um, you know, to um, register uh, four and five, on we are also pushing you attach them to number three. Number three here becomes your premium and that is where you're gonna be doing your top ups. All right, all right. So now that all this have been explained and now you understand how to build the structure, right? Depending on your budget. Uh, let's now quickly go and look at this table, this spreadsheet. Now you will see that the spreadsheet is for $100. The reason I made actually this particular spreadsheet is because I was asked by one of my downline, um, why not make a spreadsheet also for small budget? Because um, the spreadsheet that we had been presenting were for 1500, like going from Cosmos to Multiverse or from, you know, it was for bigger amounts. Uh, and yet we are trying to share this in four countries. All right, like Africa, in countries in Africa, in uh, 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 South America, in Asia, and so on. For them, sometimes $100 is a month's salary. 
So, or maybe a life saving. So it made sense to create this for smaller budget. So that's what we did. So I wanna take this example to show you how you can actually use the spreadsheet for yourself and play with the numbers. It's actually very easy. So if you look at the top right in this cell here, which is B1, B1, that's how you identify the cell. So this cell here is cell B1. So if you look in B1, the, the number there can be changed. And if I change it, you will see that all these numbers will be changed and be adjusted. Like for example, if I enter $500 here, look at the number when I press enter, they all adjust themselves because we've added some formulas here that will adjust all the math so that it shows you, um, you know, the equivalent numbers. Now, if you change that, all these highlighted here will not match what they were supposed to match with 100. So this year was billed for $100. So if you don't want to play with the spreadsheet, just go here with the 100 and play with it. So this is how it looks if you only have 100. But there's one condition. you got to make sure your account is premium. How do you do that? By making sure you sponsor somebody on your left leg and sponsor somebody on your right leg. It doesn't mean going on your tree in We Are All Satoshi and showing that and seeing that, hey, do I have somebody on the left and somebody on the right? No. It means that you talk to somebody and they took, you know, they used the stable DAO username to go into We Are All Satoshi and enter your username for the left position and another person enter your username and pick the right position. That is what makes you premium if you only have a $100 uh, package. Now, so as I mentioned, you can change this value here and everything will be adjusted. Now, I'll tell you if you do change the value here, how what you need to do here in order to adjust your numbers. The next thing I wanna show is the date. Week of June 11, we are still within the week of June 11 because today is June the 8th. So we are still in the week of June 11. If you see this in the future, now, you know, the, the, the date might be different, but how do you adjust the date? Let's say, for example, you're looking at this two weeks from now, which will be the week of June 25th. How do you adjust the date? It's simple. If you don't know how to play with the Excel, then it might be tough for you. Otherwise, you just, you know, select all the dates here, right? You go all the way down and then you stop. This is when this project ends. The beauty about the We Are Also Pushy project is that it has a beginning date and it has an end date. You copy this, okay? And then you come here and then you just click here and enter. You see, now it starts from the week of June 25th. And it will also move it from here. You see that it ends here now. So that means the numbers will end here if you were starting on that week of June 25th. Now let's go back. Well, let's fix this. All right. So now let's look at the number. Let me go back to 100 first and then let's look at the number. So basically, when you are a premium member and you have only a $100 capital, you will be earning 2% of that $100 every single day. That is this two, daily staking rewards two. It is paid every seven days. So every Monday of the week, it's accumulated for seven days, then paid in a lump sum. You do two times seven, you get 14. Because 30% of your income goes to buy Bitcoin for you, you see here 30% will be deducted from the $14. And then there's also a 2% admin fees that you see here. Okay, so basically that means this is the amount that will actually going in to buy um, your Bitcoins, okay? Our project is to accumulate Bitcoin. If you're not a Bitcoin believer, maybe you're not in the right place. Then you have your weekly um, 
eight staking rewards here, right? The balance up to the top up. And then you have another 2%. This is just a breakdown of the 2% that you pay admin fees, okay? But the blue column here, which is the J column, okay? This blue column here is basically showing you exactly how much will be left to be withdrawn if you want it to withdraw, okay? That's how much is available to withdraw. So on the week of June 11, if you started on the Monday, you have 960. Can you top up using 960? You see here, this year is entered manually, okay? So can you top up using 960? No, you need at least 100. So you cannot top up, that's why it's zero. Your investment here is still at 100 because you haven't topped up, you haven't added anything to it. So you will go to the week of the 18, your total withdrawal amount is 19. Then the week of the 20, uh, June 25 is at 28. It will keep going down until the week of June, until the week of June, uh, sorry, August 20th. That's when you reach 105.64. Are you eligible to top up? Yes. Then you can go ahead and top up at 100. How much is left from this 105.64? Well, that is 105.64 minus 100. It is left 5.64. Um, and now your current investment is 200 because you had 200 to begin with. You've just added another 200. Your new investment total is 200. Then you go back again. You know, it keeps growing slowly, slowly, slowly every week until the week here of um, September 24, you reach another $100 and you do another top up, okay? Now you have 300 in investment and 168 is left. You will just keep letting it grow like that until you, know, you reach a day where you start to get like $100 almost every day. You can see here that the frequency, the frequency started increasing, right? increasing, increasing, you have more and more $100 that you could do to top up. And starting here on the week of December 31st, right? Now you have $100 almost every day and at some point you will hit 200. Now you're doing top ups every day, every day. And on the week of February 11, 2024, you will reach Cosmos from $100 investment. You reach Cosmos level, right? Now your investment has reached 1600. If you just keep doing it, oh, by the way, at any given time, you can decide to withdraw some of the money to be at zero risk. Then you just keep going if you wanna keep topping up, topping up because you wanna see how far you can reach. You keep topping it up, right? You keep topping it up until everything, you know, until you reach, is here, for example, you can already top up like 300, 300 daily, 400 and so on. And if you keep doing it, you can see that, you know, before the end, because all this will end in 500 days or earlier than that, if the Bitcoin reaches $100,000 in value. So it will end on the 500 days from the day we started, which was, um, which was May the 13th. May the 13th is when we started. So 500 days will be here on September 22nd, 2024. So if by this date, Bitcoin value has not reached $100,000, we stop the project, we open the vault where we've been storing the Bitcoin and everybody gets its share of the pair. We are also Toshi Bitcoin. So WAS token, Bitcoin, and they can trade it and get Bitcoin or USDT, whatever they want. So this is how you do it. Now, I'll show you how you interact with the file now if you want to change the value. Let's say I go in here and I enter um, $500 as a budget. Look at the numbers. Now, week one, here, I have 48. Do I, can I top up? No, because I have less than 100. Week two, I have 96. Can I top up? No, because I have less than 100. But week three, 
As you can see, I have 144. So can I top up? Yes, I can top up. And in that case, I'll enter $100 here to top up. And you'll see that I have $44 left. So for the following week, whatever I will make will also take into consideration the balance here to show me here how much I'm getting, all right? So now, as you can see, I have another 101, so I can top up again and I manually enter the top up. So basically, that means if you play with this number here with your budget, you want to make sure you look here. Anywhere you have 100, you can do a top up, okay? You have 100 or more, you can do a top up of 100. If you have 215, you can do a top up of 200. If you have 301, you can do a top up of 300. If you have 395, you can do a top up of 300. Or if you want, you can actually add money out of your pocket. But the goal here is not to add anything out of the pocket. All right. So that is how you, um, so let me fix this. That is how you, uh, you play with this file. All right. I made this file for um, this sheet here for $100, but I also made it for $300. So this is the file for $300 starting in the week of June 11, which is this week. And you can see that a $300 for somebody who had started this week, Monday, this week, it can take them all the way to quantum. Quantum is basically 106,900. That's not bad for somebody who started at 300 and just keep going with the top up. You may be wondering, how do you get to those big numbers? That's the power of compounding, okay? That is just the power of compounding. You wanna see how it looks like when you go to, um, let's say when you go to, um, you know, 700, okay? With a 700 budget, let's see how far it takes you. 700 budget, if you started on the week of June 11, right? Um, on the first week, you cannot top up. That's why it's zero. But on the second week, starting on the second week, you can top up. The third week, you can top up. But then you don't have enough the fourth week. That's why it's zero. But after the fifth week, you don't you top up nonstop if you wish. On some week, you can take a break and get your money out or get some money out to have some fun. Um, but then if you want to keep topping up, it's going to take you to the moon. Uh, and as you can see, by the week of August 18, you've reached 204, 700, which is the multiverse level. Now, are you going to have time to collect your money, uh, your 3x that is left to be collected? Mm, maybe not, because as you can see, the project ends just uh, five weeks after that. Uh, what do they plan to do for those who will not have the time to collect all their uh, 3x that is left? I don't know. I don't have that answer yet, but I'm sure we will get it in due time. So that is how you use this sheet. I have an even more complicated one for those with bigger budget. Uh, this is the strategy 2.0 that takes into account five accounts that you own and where you want to generate uh, you know, the, the, the booster kickback as well as the um, check match to your primary account by topping up at the bottom account, you know, at the um, the middle account. So I explained that at the beginning, if you remind, if you remember. So this one here is an example with, uh, you know, going from 300 in the primary account and 400 in the uh, 400 in the, 400 in the uh, top of account. That's the account that you top up. Okay. This one here is a little bit more complex. I'm not going to break your head with that. Uh, but uh, one of these days, I'll take the time to go through it and explain also how this one works. But these are the numbers. You know, you could just use it like this or try to understand it, uh, play with the numbers and see based on what I explained before. Or the only tip I can give you is. This area here, check, mark, check match bonus and booster kickbacks is basically the extra money that is generated by topping up the middle account so that it generates booster kickbacks and check match bonus to your primary account. So what the primary account actually get 
is in the middle here, all right? It's in the middle here. Um, and then it is calculated in formulas so that you can actually even be writing both accounts up by topping them up, or you can do what I explained in the beginning by only topping up the middle account so that it can reach the Ascension uh, Club ranking faster. Okay, so I've done it for, uh, not I've done it, I've done it with Mateo for, um, you know, Vega and 400, so 300 and 400, so 300 on primary and 400 on the other one. And I've done it also for Vega, oh, what is this one? So this is Vega, so we started at 300 on this one and on the other side, we have 400. I don't remember why I have it twice. Oh yeah, so this strategy here basically uh, tops up everything, collect the, the rewards on primary account and tops up the bottom account. And the other one here uh, collects, you know, basically tops up the primary account which is, with, with its own rewards and the, the middle account with its own reward. And they both ride to the maximum that they can get. So on this one here, we can see that this one can go all the way to, um, this one goes to the multiverse. Yeah, this one reaches the multiverse on May the 5th. Look how much time is left to collect, all right? On May the 5th, this one with this strategy here reaches the multiverse. Um, and then, on this one here, uh, let's see, uh, when does it reach? Uh, okay, this one on this side reaches quantum, which is um, a half of the multiverse. And on the other side here, it also reaches quantum, All right? So this is what I wanted to share with you tonight. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this presentation. And if you did, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up. That helps the channel a lot. Um, so, uh, and if you have comments, feel free to leave them at the bottom of the video. If you want to reach out, uh, our contacts are always in the description. Feel free to send a message and we'll gladly answer whenever we get to it. Um, apart from that, if you want a copy of this uh, spreadsheet, feel free to shoot me a message on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll gladly share it with you. Um, that it. That is it. This. So that is it. So thank you for watching this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, as I said, um, just keep them in the comments. Uh, I'll quickly answer a question that somebody asked me. If everybody was to do this, where are they going to find the money to, uh, you know, to pay everybody? Well, uh, the answer I gave them is simple. One equation, one parameter of the equation that they're forgetting is that if we all do this, what is happening? We're removing supply from the market. And if we're removing supply from the market, the Bitcoin value keeps going up. And with the Bitcoin value going up, they will have enough money in the vault to pay anybody who wants to be paid. And keep in mind, 68% of our contribution is used to feed the reward system, all right? And this is only for 500 days or when the Bitcoin reaches $100,000. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.